I wanted to do this video for a little bit now, but I didn't know when I was going to do it. Stay. Sorry. I didn't know when I was going to do that, this particular video. So I figured now is better than, well, never. <laughs> okay, so I actually have, I wrote it down and printed it out so I would know exactly how to say it um, so this is just like my symptoms and what happened and then I have my thyroid ultrasound results with my thyroid scan and uptake if that makes sense but okay so I'll start up <clears throat> how I knew something had to be up with my thyroid and it's weird because if I go like this, I have to be careful. I can feel, hold on, it's so weird. I can feel the nodule right here. Like you could feel it. It's like, starts right here. No, this one can hold it. Because it's up here too. It's like right in this area. It's so weird, isn't it? It's like right here. Oh, right there. Right here. But, besides the point. So, I knew something was up. Because for a while there, I was doing fine. I was losing weight and everything seemed to be okay. Then all of a sudden, I noticed I was gaining all that weight back and I wasn't doing anything out of the ordinary I was still getting out and walking and stuff like I was doing prior and it was just all coming back and I'm like see something's going on but I you know I didn't know for sure until my neck started feeling puffy and I always like I constantly was feeling suffocated I still am like it sucks bad but like I was feeling like like you know how when your hand is like around your throat or someone's like trying to choke or so anything but I was feeling like I was being suffocated I could breathe but I had a hard time and with asthma it's not easy but so there was that and I knew something was up and I'm like okay I'm gonna make a doctor's appointment whatever but then I started developing more mood swings and I think it was more of like I was constantly angry all the time I don't know why like I had nothing to be angry about I was just irritable like I don't get it and I was more depressed and I get it because I do have depression and anxiety and PTSD and all this and asthma, whatever. But I was more depressed and more angry than I have really ever been. Like I've been depressed, depressed, okay? I've been, but like I was doing okay. And then I just started getting more sad and it was just worsening. So. Like I said, I went to the doctor and she requested a ultrasound and blood work. So naturally, I got the blood work first and those results came back that, let me see, it was like, what, how do I say this? Yeah, the blood work showed that my thyroid levels were low and then I got my ultrasound um, results and they found two nodules one on my right and one on my left or like one on my right lobe and one on my left lobe or something but then I feel I don't know it's weird and then they referred me to a specialist which 
I went to and that person requested more blood work. So, the hospital, now this is what really ticks me, and I get mistakes happen, but I'm, with everything going through, it's like the worst time to make a mistake. But, someone's home because my dogs are barking, I guess. Yeah, my dog. But, so they mixed up, they either did the wrong, I can't remember, they either, they said they either mixed up the test with someone well, they didn't say someone else, but they said they either mixed it up or did the wrong blood work. But they didn't do the right testing that he wanted. Like, he had a whole list of what he wanted and they didn't do it right or something. I don't know. And, like I said, I'm... It's hard to explain, so that's why I had to print it out and, like, tell some, like, you guys. So, but yeah, um... Yeah, like I said, I, like, instead of explaining my results, I'll just read them from what I got. Also, I'll be getting yet more blood work. I had actually recently get more, so they would get the right test this time, and hopefully they did. Then, of course, if they did, you know, I lost my wallet, and all my, when my life was in that wallet, all my medical cards, everything, and just my luck, right? Anyway. <clears throat> and the last thing I wanted to talk about with my symptoms. So normally I would be on a 28 to 31 day cycle period. If that makes sense. But I'm trying to think. I'm like, okay, it's somewhere in there. Between every 28 days or every 31 days. Somewhere in there. Sometimes it could be early. Sometimes it could be late, but that's not out of the normal. What was out of the normal was that my last two periods. What had happened was I talk with my hands a lot, so I apologize for that. <laughs> but um, what had happened was for what's this? This is September, August, August. My period that month. It. I started like spotting okay so I was spotting for like an hour one day and then it like completely stopped the next day later in the day was one hour again spotting and then it stopped and it, it did that for three or four three or four days and then I f like got my period full on and that's when it was probably one of the longest periods I've had in a while because usually my period only lasts like five days but with the whole three to four days spotting and then I got my flow and it was coming on hard and it was lasting seven days so it was not fun because I was like moody prior to having it, I was moody during, I was moody after, like it was, it was stressful. And the same thing happened this month, which, you know, you spot, I was spotting for like an hour, stopped, next day spotting for an hour, stopped, and then it went on for the same thing, like three or four days, but this time I had my period, period my like my regular flow for the five day mark. So, I don't, I don't, it was very weird, but I'm going to go ahead into the <sighs> thyroid ultrasound results. And okay, yeah. I'll just want to grant ultrasonography or whatever I can't talk I can't, can't say that word blank whatever of the thyroid gland demonstrates a solid nodule in the mid portion of the left lobe of the thyroid gland measuring 2.8 by 1.5 by 
2.0 centimeters now. I don't know exactly how that works, but whatever. No internal calcification or hypervascularity is seen. Given the patient's age, I would suggest an ultrasound guided biopsy of this nodule as it is dominant. In the right lobe, a 0.5 centimeter rona nodule is seen having punctuate 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 internal and per 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 I don't know. See, this is why I'm not a doctor. I can't even say half these words. That the some things they have to see. I don't want to do whatever. Anyway, so yeah, basically it's showing calcification and from what. I know of calcification and how a doctor explained it to me a while back was you know when you chew a piece of gum and after a while it starts like hardening it's kind of like that <clears throat> okay blah, blah, blah. let's see where I was see I can't Basically, they're recommending an biopsy of this nodule, that nodule as well. Otherwise, there are no nodules seen. But then this... Okay, oh, you know what? Now I get it. Okay, this is actually my measurement on my lobes. Never mind. And that's... Okay, left flow measures 5.4 by 1.7 by 2.5 centimeters. Right lobe measures 5.2 by 1.3 by 1.5. So they're... seem to be different sizes. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's normal. I'm actually unaware. I don't know much about this. Um, but overall for this one, nodule left lobe, thyroid gland measuring 2.8 centimeters in size. I would suggest ultrasound guided biopsy of this nodule in addition around it to, to 5 mil millimeters of, I don't know, it's mm, partially calcified nodule seen in the right lobe, I would recommend a biopsy of this nodule as well. Now this is the thyroid scan with the multiple uptake function. It's hard. Literally, I basically had to do, what is it called? What is it called? Um, the mannequin challenge, or no, where you have to like stay still for a certain amount of time, and I think I freaking I have to. I was laying down, and my arms were to my side, and then they had a scan. I, and then the one doctor was like, every ten minutes, because it takes ten minutes each for each scan. So I'll let you move for a little bit, but then the other doctor did not let me move. He wouldn't say anything. He was just going right back to test up, test up, test. So I couldn't move for a good 30 minutes. And with the uptake, that's when, I, I, it's like they, it's not like a, I don't know what it is. I think it's like, it's weird. So they like see what my thyroid is doing without a radioactive pill and then they compare it because um apparently our knee is the closest thing to a thyroid so they had to get uh my knee as well to compare it then i went in and they gave me a radioactive iodine which on the ride home you could feel it like it's like, you know what pop rocks are, right? So it was like a bunch of pop rocks kind of going through your neck. It was, it didn't hurt. It just felt weird. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, 
I wanted three thyroid imaging and four and 24 hour one or I two three one two three thyroid updates are performed following oral indigestion of 308 UCI I one two three by capsule at 8:22 a.m. Comparison is made to thyroid ultrasound done August say blah 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 showing a large cell nodule in the mid left thyroid lobe and a small right mid oh whatever right mid thyroid lobe no, I it's hard um okay so thyroid images show a large cold area in the left mid lobe that corresponds to the locator of the large nodule seen on the recent ultrasound this cold area is somewhat lobulated into the inferior aspect of the left thyroid lobe, most likely part of the large, oh my God, large left thyroid nodule seen on the ultrasound as recommended on the ultrasound report and from its cold appearance today, we recommend biopsy of this nodule. And then there's also a large cold area on my right, that, my right thyroid lobe that did not have a correlating nodule on the recent thyroid ultrasound and most likely represents a cold nodule that is not apparent, something with sonogram apparent. Biopsy of this area is recommended either blindly or of a corresponding nodule if seen on if seen on ground. Okay. Four and twenty-four, blah blah blah. I one, two, three thyroid uptakes are mildly elevated, measured at fourteen point seven percent and thirty-one point five percent. And basically it just like goes over like well, there's cart, cold spots on this one, cold spots on that, whatever. So that's, I don't know. I kind of rushed for that maybe a little, I don't know. But it's like, it's hard to explain because I'm no doctor and I'm just kind of going by what the results show right now. And I'm sorry if I butchered some of these words and sometimes I choke up when I'm reading out loud. So, sorry about that. And... I will be seeing the specialist again on October 1st. Yeah, October 1st. Oh my god, that's soon. Okay, I didn't. Can you believe September is like almost over? It's like basically over. Just two more. It's crazy. But. Yeah, I'll see him on the 1st. Which, we'll go over my results and see how the pill that he did give me is affecting anything. If it's affecting anything or whatnot. And then November 1st, I have a biopsy. So, I'll know probably before the holidays if I have cancer or not. And... I'll do another video with those results and whatnot. There's a lot of stuff I'm going through my mind, but I don't I don't know what to say right now or do about it. I'm just it's kind of like a waiting game. And like I said, I lost my damn wallet and nowhere to be found. So either someone snapped it up or whatnot. And literally all my information was in that wallet. My photo ID, medical cards, a security card, a picture of a tattoo I was going to get, a picture that of, of me and my dog that passed away from last Christmas. Which, and I have money, but it's like the money is not the thing. It's like, if someone was to pick it up and search for money, whatever. Take the money, but do the right thing and send everything else back. Don't throw it away. Or report it, or send it, put it, 
I don't know. It's stressful, and I had to start ordering new medical cards, and here's the, what really sucks is the fact that for a photo ID, I have to pay, but my money was in my wallet. I can't get another social security card without a photo ID. And my hands, like, I can't pay right now. So I'm going to be going without both. I don't know what's going on with that. It, it really sucks. It really does. And I cried because, <laughs> like I said, my whole life wasn't there. And I'm like, of course this happens to me when I'm always, I don't know, I'm already stressed out about one thing. Well, a bunch of things, actually. I'm already stressed out. And then, lo and behold, the one time that I don't double check my bag for my wallet, the one time, because every time I do, and I never forget it. The one time, and I was sitting at McDonald's too, and that's the the one area I was sitting at. They don't have an angle on. They have an angle everywhere else, but not where I was sitting. Like just my luck. So if someone took it, I can I don't have proof. It's not in my friend's car, and I've looked in my bag a billion and one times already, and it's not there. Looked on the floor where my bag would sit, and it's not there. So, all I can do is hope that it shows up in the mailbox, like someone actually brings it back. But, now I have to get everything renewed. I'm never going to see that one picture again if I don't get my wallet back. So, kind of depresses me because that's a smaller story. But, um, oh my god, it's worth it. Oh, okay. So, I've been rambling on for over 20 minutes, and I'm really sorry about that. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will update as soon as I have more results. Because, with the doctor I am now, I think he's like obsessed with like blood work, because he wants me to get it so often, it's kind of ridiculous. And I go bruise from the last time but it's not as bad as the other time when I actually ripped skin anyway I'm gonna go and maybe if you're going through this I hope something else or you you relate to it if you do you know tell me your story in the comments um I would actually love to hear all your stories and maybe if you have thyroid cancer what did you do and how did you react and stuff like that anything like that leave in the comments because I think yes in a way it's like you get paranoid because when they're like oh it looks lumpy and then there's nodules and like you, like it's like you think cancer right away but it's pretty finished out here um, if I have it, that's another situation, but don't, then I'll be relieved, but I still have problems, but anyway, oh my god, I keep rambling, you probably got bored of this video, like, after five minutes, I'm so sorry, but yeah, any of your symptoms you had, any like how if you have thyroid cancer how'd you find out how did you react whatever anything like that and once again thank you for watching <laughs> and thank you for listening to me ramble on and on oh i'm really sorry and i will update as soon as i can i love you Mwah.